This video will show how to determine probabilities of a normal distribution using Desmos.com. A data set of test scores is normally distributed with a mean of 72 and a standard deviation of 8.2. Determine the probability that a randomly selected test score is in the given interval. Give the answer as a decimal to three decimal places and a percent to one decimal place. For part A, we're asked to find the probability that X, the randomly selected test score, is greater than 80. The first step is to go to desmos.com and click Start Graphing. Notice how by default the cursor is in cell 1. From here we need to open the Desmos keyboard by clicking the Show Keyboard button in the lower left hand corner. Then click Functions on the right. Then click Distributions. Then click Normal Distribution. Now looking at cell 1, notice how we have Normal Distribution by default the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. This is only true for the standard normal distribution and therefore we need to enter the mean as well as the standard deviation. The mean is 72 and the standard deviation is 8.2 and therefore we enter 72, 8.2. Next we are going to click the zoom fit button which is the magnifying glass shown here on the left. Now looking at the graph, notice how we have a nice graph of our normal distribution and the horizontal axis is labeled with the test scores. Next we click the box to the left of Find Cumulative Probability or CDF. Notice this shades all of the area under the normal distribution curve and the minimum shows as negative infinity and the maximum shows as positive infinity. To approach negative infinity along the horizontal axis we would move left to approach positive infinity along the horizontal axis, we would move right. We need to change these to find the probability that x is greater than 80. Because we want the probability that x is greater than 80, we are going to change the minimum to 80 and leave the maximum at infinity. Looking at the graph, notice how this shades the area below the curve to the right of the test score of 80. This area represents the probability that x is greater than 80 which is shown here in decimal form. To three decimal places, the value is approximately 0 0.165. Now we know the probability that x is greater than 80 is approximately 0 0.165, which is a percent is 16.5%. Notice how we have the probability as a decimal of three decimal places and a percent to one decimal place. Next, we want the probability that x is less than 65, which means now 65 is going to be the maximum, and we need to change the minimum back to negative infinity. So going back to our graph, again, to find the probability that x is less than 65, let's change the maximum to 65. We need to change the minimum back to negative infinity. The easiest way to do this is just to clear the 80, and then click out of this cell and it automatically changes back to negative infinity. Looking at the graph, we do have the area shaded below the curve to the left of 65, which represents where x is less than 65. The probability that x is less than 65 is shown here in decimal form. Running to three decimal places, we have approximately 0.197. Which is equal to 19.7 percent. And finally for part C, we want to find the probability that x is greater than 72 and less than 92. Which means now the minimum is going to be 72 and the maximum is going to be 92. And therefore we change the minimum to 72, the maximum to 92. And again we can always check our work by analyzing the graph. Notice how we do have the area shaded below the curve between the test scores of 72 and 92, which is what we want. This area represents the probability a randomly selected test score would be in this interval. To three decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.493, which is equal to 49.3%. I hope you found this helpful.